Good evening and thanks for joining us for Fox 43 News at 9. I'm Mackenzie Davis. Well, lawmakers passed that bill out of a Senate committee today. It would allow schools to provide NRA gun training to students. Fox 43 News Capitol Bureau reporter Rebecca Chung explains why not all lawmakers are backing the move. Well, one of the lawmakers I spoke with says it's just not the time to advance bills backed by the NRA. Instead, she says lawmakers should be looking at more protective measures. Senator Cindy Holscher, a Democrat from Overland Park, says it was a horrifying day when a student opened fire at Olathe East High School. Her son was there, and like other parents, she was waiting for answers. Waiting to hear from him and waiting to get information about the situation. Uh, it's all kind of surreal. Thankfully, Holscher was reunited with her son. The gunman firing five shots at a school resource officer before he shot back and also wounding an assistant principal who stepped in. The suspect carrying a ghost gun or untraceable firearm that can be assembled at home. Now just weeks after the shooting took place, Kansas lawmakers are moving forward with a bill that would allow schools to adopt a NRA gun safety training program. It seems a bit tone deaf to be moving forward on legislation that is backed by the NRA in light of what just happened. However, some Republicans are backing the bill. They say it's about teaching kids safety measures, especially at a young age. What to do if there's a gun there, uh, go tell someone, go tell a doll. But Holscher says there are other avenues lawmakers could take. There are plenty of other suggestions out there. Storage of firearms, making sure that they're not accessible to children. Now, the senator has also introduced legislation to outlaw ghost guns in the state. There hasn't been any movement on that yet. But as for this bill with gun safety training, it's now moving to the floor where it will be up for debate. For now, reporting at the Capitol, I'm Rebecca Chung.